Now we have the first question here, guys. We have the first question. I'll give you 10 seconds. Come on. And I'm watching. I'm watching for the students who give it the first. <clears throat> Come on, do it fast. Find the surface area of the frustum and see the good thing is this that you have all the options in the form of pi itself. So you don't need to calculate and put the value of pi, just calculate, put the formula and you will get the answer. Okay, I'm getting the options. It's someone is saying A, someone D, someone B. Okay, good. C is also coming an option. <coughs> Okay, okay, many of them are going for the right options and I am very happy for that. Okay, now I think I should tell the answer. It is an easy one. <coughs> See guys, I need find the surface area. Here it has been called find the surface area. Now always remember here they have not mentioned its surface they have not mentioned that which surface area they are asking but you can very well get it that here this l is given l is 5 inches isn't it l is given as 5 inch so you will what you will do see here unit can be anything it can be inches it can be centimeter it can be according to your uh, means question now l is given as 5 inches so you will apply the formula for pi r l this is formula for formula for this is curved surface area csa so you will apply csa here and curved surface area will be pi r l and pi r l will account to <coughs> now just sorry i wrote the wrong formula isn't it so the right formula would be right formula would be guys <coughs> pi l into r1 plus r2 this is the right formula pi into L, L is 5 into R1 plus R2, radius first is 12 plus radius second is 15. 12 plus 15 is equal to 27. So 27 into 5 into pi, that makes it equal to 135 pi. And the answer comes as first option. So whosoever gave the first answer, kudos to him or her. And many of one, I can see it, many of one you are giving very right answers and many of one have got this answer in just fraction of seconds. And I'm really happy for them because these students, all of them who are doing it very so fastly are really doing very great. And see, these questions are about to come. Board will not ask very tough questions because all the questions which I have included here in my slide, I have taken utmost care that all these questions are have come in past years they have come continuously in past years and they are most probable they are about to come in this 2019 exams also your board exams moving on to next so this <coughs> is the same question okay now the question second comes i will again give you some time and <coughs> i want you to answer this i am watching the chat i'll watch out for the options this is again a simple one and here also you don't have to calculate the value you don't have to put the value of pi a toy is in the form of a cone mounted by on a hemisphere with some radius with some no sorry it is same radius <coughs> it is same radius the diameter of the base of the conical portion is 12 centimeter <coughs> and height is 8 centimeter okay diameter is given 12 centimeter height determine the volume of the toy <coughs> volume you have to get the volume guys now come on do it very fast here i know you all can get the answer of this <coughs> i'm watching the shouts okay answer has started to come wow that's nice someone is saying b okay c option is also coming <coughs> and someone has said a and d option is also coming okay that's great means i am getting the mixed replies from everyone now come on <clears throat> i'll give you 10 more seconds just to solve this okay time up many of one of you have got the right answer i guess protocol has got the right answer very for in the very initial time he has got a right answer and Somya has got the right answer that's really nice very good Somya and protocol you both i don't know the name of this protocol but yes you guys are doing it great now <coughs> moving on to next 
I'll show you how to solve this. Now, come on, guys. Volume. I have to get the volume. Volume is equal to for this first volume of cone and plus for this for this uh, hemisphere. This is volume of hemisphere. Now, volume of cone. It is one by three pi r square h, isn't it? And plus for this hemisphere, it will be two by three pi r cube. Common in both, it is coming as pi r square <coughs> bracket. This one by three remains here plus one by three and h also remains here. H by three plus for this pi r square, two by three will be remaining here. See, I'll be showing it to you on the next slide. We have space here. Now, what I said, volume is equal to one by three pi r square h plus two by three pi r cube is equal to pi r square is taken common and <clears throat> what we can do here is h is remaining h by 3 plus 2 by 3 times r now i'll put the values pi r square what is the radius radius was 6 centimeter so this will be 6 square into h h is 8 plus See, both have the LCM 3, so I'll take just 3 and 2 into R, 2 into radius, so 2 into 6. So this 6, 3 will cancel 36 in 12 times. So this will come as 12 into pi into 6 to the 12 plus 8, 20. So 20 into 12, this will come as 240 pi. So okay, guys, 240 pi. Whosoever has got the answer D, they got it very correct. Now moving on to next questions. <coughs> so guys, I guess you all are feeling that how easy these questions are and these questions are only about to come. Believe me because I have analyzed the past seven years question, past five years question and these questions are most probable questions. <coughs> See, this is the solution and they have done it quite long. Okay, we'll not <coughs> put any, see, such a long solution. And we are here, means today's agenda is this also that I want to teach. I'm telling all of the solutions in only two to three lines. And this is the agenda of today's class that all of the questions you will be learning to solve it in the minimum step, steps possible so that you can save your time. So this much long solution is not required here. <coughs> now I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this problem also. This is a very good problem. Here it is asking, here we don't have options because I did not put it. Here it is asking volume and total surface area. Volume is very easy. I'll just write the formula. Volume is volume of cylinder minus volume of cone. See guys, what the question is telling, just read out once. I'll, I'll move from here. <coughs> read out once. From a solid cylinder, from a solid cylinder of height 36 cm and radius 14 cm, conical cavity of radius 7 cm and height 24 cm is drilled out, means that portion has been taken out. <coughs> Find the volume and total surface area of the remaining solid. Now, these are the dimensions you have been given and this is 36 cm. This is 36 cm. Now what you do, what you need to do, this has been taken out this is now taken out so when this has been taken out the remaining part is left so volume is very easy volume of cylinder minus volume of cone now what i'll be telling vol uh, sorry <coughs> what i'll be telling the total surface area so total surface area is equal to total surface area see for writing total surface area i can't write here total surface area of cylinder minus total surface area of this Cone. Why? Because there are some conditions which I will show you. See, when you will take out this cone from here, na, just imagine when you are taking out the cone, this portion which I am making in red color, <coughs> this portion is hollow. So now what will happen? Total surface area is the area which is visible to us. Okay, so this is the visible area. So which 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 area is visible to us? The curved surface area of the cylinder that is that is <coughs> that is 2 pi r h curved surface area of the cylinder plus see the bottom area this bottom area would be visible so this is pi r square plus <coughs> now see guys the upside area here only we will be looking at this rim 
this rim will be visible because when we will take out this only the rim portion will left and this rim portion will be plus pi say for example r1 square say for example if i take is r1 and if i take this as r2 <coughs> so this is r1 square and pi r1 square minus pi r2 square this will only be left and plus <coughs> now when you will take out this much area so this area will be left vacant <coughs> this area will be empty and this will be shown you will be able to see uh, you will be able to see this area so when you will be able to see this area this area will also come and the formula will be pi rl <coughs> i guess you all get it correct in the very first time you have to get this curved surface area of this core because you will be able to see this portion also in the top you will be able to see only this rim portion so rim portions area is written here apart from that cylinders curved surface area would be visible and cylinders base area would be visible i have written here the formula only formula for you because i know that you all know are you all are very good in putting the values and calculating it because i guess no one here is poor in calculation or something like that and even if, if it happens surely i'll help you out in this but here the important portion was only to get the formula of this once you are once you have got the formula even say for example this question will come in four marks at least in four marks so if you have done till here you will get at least 2.5 marks at least or teacher can give it on three marks also it's on her distinction so moving on to next question <coughs> so this is the solution i have done the solution for you also volume and you can very well get it that what is the solution and here you can see this this solution is very <coughs> lengthy i just tried to tell you all this solution in a very small smaller steps 